Hi all in this video we are going to draw the development of a pentagonal prism the question is a pentagonal prism of base side 25 mm and height 60 mm rest on one of its end faces on hp one of its base edge is perpendicular to vp it is cut by a plane perpendicular to vp and inclined to the hp at 30 degree and meeting the axis at mid height draw the development of all the surface of the lower portion of the prism so here we have to draw the development of a pentagonal prism which is resting on one of its end faces on hp also one of its base edge is perpendicular to vp and the pentagonal prism is cut by a section plane which is which is inclined 30 degree to hp and also the section plane passes through the midpoint of the axis so we can draw the development of all the surface of the lower portion of the prism so here we can start from the top view the top view will be a pentagon with one of its side perpendicular to vp so we can first draw the pentagon i am drawing one of the side of pentagon which is 25 mm now i am drawing lines from both end points which is 54 degree inclined to the 25 mm side now i am drawing a circle with the point of intersection as center okay we can now measure the side of the pentagon that is 25 mm using a compass and i am cutting arcs on the circle okay i am cutting three arcs and after that i am simply joining the points we will get a pentagon with one of the side is perpendicular to vp now i am marking points as a b c d e on bracket f on bracket g on bracket h on bracket i and on bracket j i am marking the center point as o on the other side of the axis we can see p okay now i am drawing position lines upwards so that we can draw the front view the height of the prism is 60 mm so in the front view we can see a rectangle of height 60 mm okay first i am drawing the lines using 2h pencil that is thin line and we can see an we can see a lateral edge okay now i am drawing the axis that is a chain thin line on the front view we can see the lateral edge a dash f dash and on the back side there is another edge we can name it as e dash j dash that is on bracket and also we can see the edge c dash h dash and we can see the lateral edge b dash g dash and on the other side there is another lateral edge that is d dash i dash which is on bracket i am naming the axis as o dash p dash the section plane passes through the midpoint of the axis so i am marking the midpoint of the axis 
and now i am drawing a line which is inclined 30 degree to hp so using a protractor i am drawing a line which is 30 degree inclined to hp okay th- that is our section plane so we have to draw a chain thin line and that line is inclined 30 degree to hp and passing through the midpoint of the axis so i am marking vt there and we can mark the points as 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash length of base edge is 25 mm and we have five base edges so the stretch out length is 5 into 25 that is 125 mm and now i am extending that line we can draw the bottom portion of the pentagonal prism using edge pencil because the top portion is removed okay now i am drawing the stretch out length that is 125 mm the height is 60 mm so now i am drawing a rectangular box of sides 125 mm and 60 mm okay now i am measuring 25 mm on compass and i am cutting arcs on the rectangular box so that we can draw the lateral edges okay now i am drawing vertical lines using 2s pencil which represents the lateral edge of the pentagonal prism okay i am opening the prism from the lateral edge af so i am marking af there similarly the next lateral edge is e j and next edge is d i and next is c h and b g and finally again a f we have to name all the points using capital letters okay now i am drawing horizontal line from 1 dash 1 dash lies on the lateral edges a f and ej so i am marking one on af and again one on ej and next i am drawing a horizontal line from 2 dash okay 2 dash lies on the lateral edges bg okay bg i am marking two there and also it is passing through the lateral edge d i so i am marking to the and finally i am drawing a horizontal line from 3 dash and 3 dash lies on the lateral edge c b so i am marking 3 there Okay now we can join all the points using edge pencil So you have to note only the boundary of the element uh, we can draw using edge pencil or the boundary line must be thick The lines F1 J1 I2 
H3 and G2 must be thin lines. So our development is completed. Now we can mark the dimensions. So the base edge is 25 mm and I am dimensioning it. The height of the prism is 60 mm. Okay, the angle of inclination. It is 30 degree. The inclination is 30 degree. And we need to mark the mid height also. Okay, which is 30 mm. Okay, the stretch out length it is 125 mm. Okay. I am naming the development. The height of the development is also 60 mm. So our drawing is completed. If you like the video, Subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also. Thank you.